with our race bike totally done, our stage four turbo EFI motor, and most importantly, our rotary that we finally got running and it kick starts on the first kick. So that's, we got a lot of things going on here, but I have a big announcement. We're getting close to 100K subs and we wanted to relaunch our merch. So I'll put it all in the corners here, but we have awesome like C10 shirts, CJ shirts. We have some cool like JDM inspired 212 shirts with the turbo cart. So they're all made by Joe himself and he's a really good artist and it's cool that we're making our own merch and trying to sell it. So if you at least check it out, we're going through Teespring. So all of our merch is gonna be linked through the bottom of the video. So hope you enjoy the rotary content. It's awesome. All right guys, so this is how the rotary sits from the last episode of really just the complete rebuild. So now this is the really fun part and also the stressful part. We've done all the work. We've spent a lot of money on parts, we've done a lot of research and time into rebuilding this thing. So now what we need to do is just really get down to business and try to get this thing running. We are doing a battery operated ignition system on this thing. Um, you can do this pretty easily to any engine that has points. You just have to be a little bit careful that when it's switched on, when the point is, uh, is open, that way you're not grounding out the circuit. And that's why we, we actually had to get one of these big old coils because we uh, smoked that little ATV coil instantly, like it blew up. We have a 12 volt Go Power Sports battery, link in the description, going to our 12 volt automotive style coil and then on the positive side. And then the negative side goes to the point. So when the point is open, the, the circuit has to go out and ground through the spark plug. And then when the point is closed, the circuit goes through the engine and then that'll hook up to a ground. Sweet. So we got our carburetor, everything checked out all right. So I just cut a little gasket for it, nothing too crazy, just kind of temporary. And now we are reuniting carburetor to the engine. We're gonna see if this engine generates enough, enough suction to basically pull gas up. Okay. Yeah, fuel. Sweet. Dang, that works. That's crazy. Badass. Hey guys, okay. So we just need to keep it, make it stay running. I just think there's so much stuff in this engine right now from when we built it that it's just having some issues. So I guess we're just gonna keep messing with it. Yep. Cool. All right, we kind of switched on. Uh, wait. Yes. Okay. Right? Yeah. Hey, hey. That so sounds wow. like a rotary. Awesome. Yeah, here we go. Dude. <laughs> Dude. Oh my. Man. Symptoms of having low compression, so we just got this compression tester. So let's see how it does. Okay, that's not, yeah. It is only 30 PSI. Hey, and for those so, of y'all, yeah, like if we push in the valve and then here, turn it over. It makes 30 every single time. So we're thinking that either like all the apex seals are bad or it's like leaking from somewhere. Yeah, maybe the springs aren't like pushing out enough to get a good seal. Yeah. So we're gonna, we are starting to take off the transmission We'll take that apart and then tighten up the side casings first, see if that changes anything. Then after that, we might have to take it apart and look at the apex seals and stuff. Okay guys, we are back again. Thank you so much for y'all's help and support as we've kind of gone through this entire project here. It's been a long road getting to this point and we're essentially right back to where we started. But I mean, this is going to be our probably last attempt at this. We're gonna throw, pull in all the stops, we're gonna make this freaking thing run, all right? The problem before is we had a little bit of low compression issues, so now what we're thinking is that in the seal, there's no there's no gasket or anything in this. So if there's even a slight amount of warping in these plates, there's going to be compression leakage out of the side chambers here. 
So plus <clears throat> we also have some like kind of corrosion and buildup around the sides, like especially right there. And it's like, you can feel it, it is raised. So what we did is we ordered some like little pieces of glass and then we're gonna put some super, super fine grit sandpaper on it. We'll make sure we're sanding the surface completely level. This Yama bond, which is used to seal two stroke casings. So we're just gonna put a sparing amount around the outside, just a tiny bit to help the two surfaces seal. Our apex springs were broken in two pieces when we took them out. Luckily, they're very similar dimensions to Mazda 12A seals, uh, the um, three millimeter ones. So basically that's really cool. So all we're gonna have to do is trim these a little bit. They are way stronger, way thicker, and that's gonna give us a lot more pushing power of the apex seals against the rotor housing. So. We have a lot of stuff to do, and we're kind of just crossing our fingers here, Listen to what you guys said, Listen to what we've been on a bunch of rotary forums, like the Suzuki RE5 forums helped us out a lot. So let's get this freaking rotary motorcycle engine running, guys. <laughs> yeah, some more. Yeah, sounds gross. This side feels a lot better. This side feels, I think it's all that. Yeah. At least you can feel it. Yeah. Dang. This, it feels good. Almost sucking itself down and it feels like really solid. It, I don't know, it just feels right. <laughs> it feels good. It seems like it's, it seems like we're gonna get a good result with this. This is our prepped, ready for the Yama Bond. And we're doing basically the same thing we've done a hundred times to this rotor. Yep. Getting all the seals in and stuff. We went super in depth in the first video, so I'll link it right now. This bad boy is ready to go in. So, like four, part of the E shaft facing down, one point towards the spark plug hole. And let's do this. Just watch the apex seals so they don't freaking fall out. Minty fresh. Say goodbye, hopefully for the last time. It is all together with our new Apex Steel Springs. And we are now time to put the fan on so we can crank it over by hand and see how this thing feels. So, we also use Loctite on the bolts, as recommended by y'all in the comments. So, thank you. So I'll get this on. I'm just gonna hand thread the nut on. I just need some, something with leverage to turn. <laughs> Dude, there's no spark plug in either. Like, I don't know guys, if you noticed, if you, like before. I got a spark plug. Okay, right, spark plug is in. Fans on and off. Oh, Dude, no. <laughs> that's like that's like um, uh, like it's like it feels like oh, uh, one <laughs> like the seventy nine cc are like crappy little ATV engines. It, it feels like about that much compression. Okay, so. Let's see if it gets more than 30. Was that 90? 90. That's actually really that good. That seems good for the rotary. No, that's like, what? like, uh, crap, I don't remember. I think like RX-7s do like, I, I have no idea, 120, like, something like I don't that. Know. 90 is a lot, three times better. Yeah, this thing's gonna run good. All right guys, transmission is on. We're in kickstart mode.
that's that's all we needed to see. This thing runs good. We are ready. Sorry, this is the this is a crappy camera. It doesn't matter. Uh, the carburetor is freaking tilted right now because I was so excited, dude. Th it's a freaking. Bra it sounds like a. It sounds like a rotary, guys. <laughs> like, uh, imagine this like three foot long motor literally right next to you. Like, we're gonna be sitting right here. Six speed manual. Definitely the coolest cart. Yeah. Oh yeah, guys. This made like the probably close to two thousand dollars we have into this motor totally worth it. Um, it's super smoky in here. Uh, it seemed like our, we definitely weren't running it way too lean as far as oil mixture goes. It probably needed a little bit more fuel. I just lost my voice from freaking screaming, but this thing is done. Wouldn't it be possible without Go Power Sports, without all of your guys' help, uh, the R Suzuki RE5 form, I'll put a link in there. Atkins Rotary, they didn't sponsor us, but they helped us a lot, and if you are watching this, I mean, you should sponsor us with some rotary stuff in the future. We'd love to get our hands on, like, uh, we're, rotary, we're, we're rotary junkies now, so this is good stuff, so. This is now definitely going to go on a shifter cart. All right. So stay tuned, freaking thumbs up, subscribe. Like, this is the most unsure thing we've ever done. We literally had no rotary experience going into this. Like, watch that first video and like, think about how many times I say, I don't know what the heck's going on and call the rotor housing a cylinder and stuff. Okay, so thank you guys so much. Stick with us. Get on that notification squad. See you next time.